show that the function f of x equals 3 times x minus 5 squared plus 7 is not 1 to 1. All right, so there's, a, there's an easy way to do this, and then there's a little bit of a harder way to do it, but it depends on how you're allowed to do it, okay? The easy way to approach this one is to graph it on your calculator, all right? Use your calculator to help you. So if you were to take this function and plug it in, all right, 3 times x minus 5 squared plus 7, you would probably get a graph that looks kind of like this. Let me just draw a set of axes. I'm not going to be particular with where the numbers are exactly, but the graph would look something would look something like, like this, okay? Don't worry, I'm not particular where this is crossing the x-axis, okay? But it looks something like that. Now, in order to be a one-to-one -one function, right, Let's, what we're gonna do is test to see whether it is a function, uh, excuse me, a one-to-one -one function. And if it isn't, then we, we just showed that it's not, right? So remember that the idea behind a one-to-one -one function, one-to-one -one function down here at the bottom, it says a one-to-one -one function is a function where each x can have only one y and where each y can have only one x. In other words, a one-to-one -one function is at a minimum a function. Okay, now you have to remember, how do you test for functions? Just general functions, right? Just a function. You use the vertical line test, right? Vertical line test, VLT, right? So if you apply the vertical line text, uh, test to this picture, right, and you draw some vertical lines, you realize that no way will any of these vertical lines intersect the graph more than once. That means it passes the vertical line test, right? So I'll just draw it right here, okay? It only intersects at one time. So therefore, if it intersects it less than two times, right, one or less, it is a function, right? The graph is a function. So this is telling me we do have a function. Okay, so now we have a function. Let's see if it's a specific type of function called a one-to-one. -one. So how do we do that? Well, now what we do is we do the horizontal line test, okay? That's over here, the horizontal line test. Okay, now I wrote over here to be a one-to-one, -one, it has to pass both the vertical and the horizontal. So now the horizontal line test is literally just draw horizontal lines. Okay, that's it. But look what happens once I start drawing my horizontal lines. This horizontal line is intersecting the graph in two places. That is a big, big no-no, right? Big, big no-no. In terms of it fails the horizontal line test. Okay, so since it fails the horizontal line test, it is not a one to one function. It's a function, just not one to one. All right, so that's how you would do it. That's the simple way to do this. All right, just plug it into your calculator. If you can't do that, what you want to do then, and you might be able to tell right off the bat that this is a quadratic equation, and the quadratic equation has a positive x squared coefficient. And that's always then going to have, if, it, if you can see that, it's always going to have a shape that looks like that. All right. If you can't see that, maybe you have to do a little algebra here. So let's say 3x minus 5 squared, oops, plus 7. So let's, let's square this term. So that's x minus 5 times x minus 5, okay, plus 7. You know, we're going to foil this out, right? So that's going to become x squared plus, not plus, minus 5x minus 5x, right, plus 25. That's then plus 7. I can now distribute the 3 to each term. So this is going to be 3x squared. I can combine like terms if I want to, right? I'm not even worried about that. Let me, let me not combine any like terms yet. So this is minus 15x. This is minus 15x. This is then going to be plus 75 and then plus 7. I can combine like terms if I want. Eh, whatever, I'll just do it. <laughs> 3x squared, I can't not do it. Uh, minus then 30x. I'm going to add these two together. Okay, and that's going to be a plus 82. So here is your function. Now notice the coefficient of your x squared value right here is positive. And therefore, you know... Right, you can remember it this way. If you have a positive x squared value, you're happy, right? You're positive. So you got a big smiley face, okay? It's a big smiley. It looks like the smiley face of the Joker. But 
if it were negative, okay, so let me write this up here. This is for a, a positive, positive x squared value. And if you had a negative x squared value, well, you're not too happy, right? You're negative. Why so serious? Where's that from? I gave you a big hint before. Um, so now, <laughs> a little, little creepy. Okay, so this is going to be uh, this is a negative x squared leading coefficient. All right. So that's when you're not too happy. You're frowning. All right. So hopefully that takes care of it, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Give us a hand. All right. Hit the like button. Tell your friends. We'd love to help them too if they're if they're having a little trouble or if uh, they just want to learn math for fun. All right. Thank you so much. Take care.